Can All right, you... so we are here in the middle of, a, of the second Miyawaki forest in Richmond, BC. And this one is about 100, between 130 meters squared and 200 meters squared. And we've got uh, 740 plants, which you can see all around here, uh, around 40 to 45 species, uh, all native. And uh, every square meter, we have one dominant um, plant, which is the um, um, the one that will be the, the tallest, the canopy plant. One canopy plant per meter squared. And then two smaller trees or bushes around it. And then three ground covers so that there's a total of six plants per, per square meter. That's the most dense type of planting there is known to man. <laughs> to mankind and the reason we can get away with it is that previously we dug this patch of land down one meter and mixed it in with uh, compost material so that when these plants since they're so tight together they're going to be competing for our resources so their roots are going to go very deep 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 down and then they're also going to be competing for the sky for the for the sun so they're going to be growing very fast at about one meter uh, per year so in 10 years the tallest uh, trees here will be 10 meters tall so it'll feel like a mature forest which in 10 years is a, a quasi-miraculous. I mean, a, a, a mature forest usually goes through several succession, ecological successions to eventually reach maturity at uh, 200 years old or so. So this is very, very fast. And the point is to increase biodiversity by putting all natives and then we'll attract the, the native insects and uh, animals and so on. Now I'm gonna show you how to plant these I start with the middle one, which is the uh, canopy plant right there. In this case, uh, I dig a hole as big as the pot. It's a five-gallon pot, so I, I dig it as deep as the pot itself. And then, once it's big enough, I can put it in. We want to make sure that the roots of the potted plants are loosened up at the bottom because that's how they otherwise if they're if they're root bound then they're not going to go down and that's the whole point we want them to go down one meter deep so here's the hole i pick up the plant shake it about put whatever's in here and there and i drop it in so i loosen the, the bottom here so that the roots have a better chance of and then I fill it up with the same earth I just dug out. And I'm going to squeeze the air out. We don't want any air in the roof. So I step lightly around the well. And so the air is released. And there we go. We've done the canopy. Now we do the the plants, the six plants going around it. And we'll put them all about a forearm lengths away, radiating out from the central tree. So six holes. This. Depending on the size of the pot. So this is like size. Pull it out, loosen the bottom, put it in snugly, remove the air. And there's one done. Five to go. Okay. 